foremost, Respect the Diva. It's an uplifting, feel-good concert where we want men, women, children to come and just enjoy two hours of great hit songs. Songs from River Deep Mountain High, I Want to Dance with Somebody, Think, Respect Itself. We've got over 35 great classic hit songs in this show. We want to use those iconic songs and we want to also try and convey a message, not only celebrating the incredible careers and achievements of these divas, but about um, inspiring and empowering everyday women in uh, reaching their full potential and being confident in themselves and being proud of who they are. Tina Turner's story is an inspirational one. Everybody knows that uh, in mid-60s she went through a very difficult time. She had nothing, yet she rose above it all and she became one of the biggest pop rock singers of our time. It's wonderful for me because I'm normally on my own as a singer. It's just fantastic to be working with such a wonderful bunch of people. The catalogue for Divas spans five decades of music from Edda James uh, and Aretha Franklin in the late 50s through to present day artists such as Mariah Carey and Alicia Keys. The singing is so diverse and so different. I think it kind of epitomises what the show's about as well, Respect the Diva. It's about all these wonderful women. We're all really enjoying it and we're all strong in our own way. So it just really highlights the diversity. Yeah, I've chosen to work with some of the um, creatives that I've previously worked with, people such as Jonathan Park. He's a a legendary set designer. He's uh, the guy who uh, he's worked with Tina Turner and he's worked with uh, Pink Floyd. He put their set together for The Wall, which is one of the most famous sets in the world. It's a privilege to work with Jonathan. 30 years ago, uh, when Tina was coming back into performance, that's when we worked with her. And it was an amazing uh, situation. She's such a fantastic performer and such a really intense person inside. And you had a focus for each song. And of course she was incredibly agile with the two dancers. And what I like about this show is that we get that sort of dance aspect with the songs. Racky Plews is a associate director and choreographer for the show. And she's an up and coming talent. She's done a lot of uh, uh, fringe work, but she's got um, some great ideas. It's great to work with Racky. We've got a huge set. We've got, um, you know, the, the light, the production values are gonna be so much bigger. What's so lovely about all of these different songs is that the music spans from so many decades. We can just have fun. Adrian has been an inspiration. He knows so much about the music. He knows what he wants. And that always helps in my case. We're working with a charity called Refuge, which um, is a charity that supports women against uh, domestic violence and uh, children against uh, child abuse as well. There's a lot of great synergy between the music we've got and the divas and the charity, so I think if we can do something good uh, other than just entertain people with a good night out, if we can make them leave the theatre, kind of like um, thinking about some of the messages that we can like convey on the screens and some of the monologues that we're gonna have in the show, then um, you know, it's been, you know, we've done something really positive.